Hi there. The yellow pages came today. It's got the white pages attached. And I looked in there, and my name's in there. I'm somebody. I'm somebody. <laughs> I remember that scene from The Jerk, and, and I remember how important it was when the phone book came for the Steve Martin character. I also remember myself when I was first getting started in business, gosh, a couple decades ago, I'd gotten my first office. I'd spent every dime I could to rent an executive office space. I had a 10 by 10 office with a desk that took up two thirds of the office because I got it at a yard sale. And I had no money left, no way to start my business. I had a phone, I had a common area receptionist, and I had a phone book. You know, a lot of times I hear people talk about the fact that they don't have enough business and I don't understand it. All my career, I have always thought about how I can serve other people. Where could I take whatever my talent was or whatever it was I was selling or whatever my product or service was. And I remember when I first got my executive office and the yellow pages that came with the installed phone came and I sat down and I made a commitment to myself that I would sit in the office every single day between 9 and 5, and I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't get distracted. I wouldn't walk the block down to the beach. I would just stay there until I figured out how to make my business work. I think a lot of times people are waiting for opportunities to come their way rather than making opportunities happen. I remember that when I had the Yellow Pages, I opened it up, and I started going from business type to business type. And I thought, you know, geez, what could I do? I could maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I could teach automobile uh, companies, people that sold cars, how to use influence skills or hypnotic selling to sell cars. I'd go on to the next one, I'd go, yeah, maybe I could uh, talk to some doctors and maybe I could help them and give them hypnosis sessions to help their patients get off cigarettes or lose fat. And As I went through the yellow pages, within two days, I had more business than my practice could handle. I had more business and more creative thoughts and more ideas than anybody could ever do all at once. So the next time you're thinking that there's no work, there's no business, or that you don't have enough business and you might have to go out of business, remember that all around you, whether it's the yellow pages, whether it's your church, whether it's a walk down the street in your town, there are other people who have challenges, who may need your product, your service, your concept or ideas, and all you've got to do is figure out how to look at their businesses, their lives, and how to serve them. And I guarantee you, you'll be blessed with massive, massive, massive abundance. It is the time of the entrepreneur. So I say to you, it's good timing. I'm Marshall Silver. I'll chat with you soon.